Back out here today. For me, it's uh, several weeks later after I first uh, was trying to figure it out. I just went ahead and bought a new OEM pump for the uh, hydraulics. It seemed like uh, I was looking online and most everybody was having uh, issues like that uh, needed to rebuild their pump. And I wasn't sure if it was the original pump and you know stuff like that. So I just bought a whole nother pump. Um, probably a bad move as far as finances go because uh, I can't remember if it was $700 something like that in uh, 2023 dollars. So uh, not cheap uh, for a pump that probably should run about 200 or 250. But anyway, uh, if it fits and it doesn't foam, I will be more than happy to pay that amount. Um, the new pump uh, is uh, sent directly from Vermeer in a Vermeer box and uh, looks a little worse for wear. Looks like it's been sitting on the shelf a while or under the crusher or something. But anyway, they got me what I needed, so can I complain? Probably not. So let's just kind of look it over, see if it looks right. I actually thought this was a big cast iron one, but uh, I hadn't uh, taken enough information from this machine. And let's see. Yeah, it looks identical. Got the little dimple in the back. Um, this, the part numbers are actually engraved into this one. I didn't realize I should have probably taken the part numbers and possibly could have found this cheaper. Um, doing it another way, uh, not OEM. But uh, anyway, looks like they got us uh, Outwardly looks like they got us the right stuff as long as the hose sizes are right and that uh, shaft goes on to the I assume it's one of those uh, Three jaw fittings As long as that all goes which it should because it's OEM then we're gonna I'm gonna be a happy man Ooh, She's on there folks I guess that drained back pretty successfully. All right, that's the easy part, I think. Different size. I was expecting more of a fight. Let's see, that's the bottom. This is this side. Come on. Love it when stuff fits the way it ought to. I do appreciate it.
cap you off. I would imagine I don't have to take this shroud off. I think the whole thing will just come out, but if not, we'll do plan B. And it looks like those are captive, so I will have to just take this. Not captive, but they have a nut on the other side. Don't lose it. All right, now back to the original size, which was this one. Wow, can't be simpler than that. All right, got this out. Now I see one. Whoops, because that makes pressure quick. Two. First, I'm going to go with the uh, carb cleaner just to get the boogers out of there. Then we'll go with the penetrating oil. Try to give them half a chance. I hadn't anticipated those giving me a fight, but they just might. They've been semi-covered. I don't know if that'll get in there at all, but in case it does, let's give it a chance. What do you think, eighth inch? Is there one even in that one? Oh, that'd be nice if it was only in one. That might be just larger than that. I don't know. What's going on here? I'm going to try to flush that out some more. I can't seem to get a hold of anything. Alright. It was 8th inch. There was just a bunch of debris in the way. Got that flushed out. Ooh! It turned, folks. It turned. Nice. Alright. Next. Strip, slip, or go? I think it's stripped. I think it's slipped. Not stripped yet. I'm not sure if I'm getting that all the way seated. Pretty sure I'm not. I'm going to go with the smaller one and fish it, fish in there with it and see if I can make sure the bottom of that hole is clear. Alright, i got to clean it up the best I can. Ooh. Nope, I think it just slipped. Yeah, 
Yeah, she's just slipping. Dang. Tool number two. This one was a ball end. Those don't really have a lot of gripping surface. I have a flat end one here. It's a very low grade tool. It may have just enough to uh, get a hold of it though. Yes it did. Yes it did. It ain't happy about it, but it came off. Oh yeah, there's plenty of rust in that hole. I'm trying to see if it's coming loose yet. Not yet. Actually, before that happens, I'm going to try to measure or get some gauge as to how deep that is. Okay, so on mine, the distance between the back of that and the face of the pump is the same size eighth inch Allen wrench. It makes that space. So, about an eighth of an inch. Alright, that should be far enough. I'm going to see if I can start wedging that off of there. Let's see if it'll move. Everything's falling because I'm on an incline here, in case you haven't noticed. Check that out. Basically what I needed to do on mine was just put wedges between behind it, get it moving, and then I struck it a few times to send some shock waves down the uh, parting area and it came out. It's got a key in there. I'm just going to leave the key right where it is because it's sitting, sitting where it's happy. So. so this one, all good. Buggered up a couple little parts on the aluminum, but uh, if I did want to redo this, put a new shaft seal and stuff, totally rebuildable. No damage on the uh, circle part. Take this. Put the shaft. Take the key cap off. Oh, this one came with the new key already put in there. All right. That was nice of them. Alright. See if our shaft size is right. I think we got a winner. Actually, before I do that, I'm going to clean out the inside of that hole. Just in case it gets real tight. I'm going to clean the bore of that with a file just to get uh, just to get any debris so it's back to the original old ID yeah it slips on so much nicer now I don't want to go too far so I'm going to use this my gauge and I'm hitting my gauge let's tighten it back up
Nice. All right. Let's see what we can do here. quick to turn up to fit them that's okay they were only hand tight the witness marks on the uh, on the metal where the paint is and the backside uh, to see where those how high and low it's a little bit adjustable the uh, coupler will make up uh, for a certain amount but uh, the uh, jaw coupler but uh, you want it to be as centered as possible so it just doesn't wear funny I think I just missed a little footage there, some kind of memory card error. Um, tightened up the back one, cinched that one down approximately in the direction I think it goes. Maybe it was pointed more down, I think. Yeah, that would make sense. Put it on there first, then tighten it. Yeah, that, that it likes to sit there. And where'd that other wrench go? Found it. So get you a close up of that coupler. So you can see this one goes all the way. It probably should be back a hair farther. It probably should get should have a little play there. But um, no major deal as far as you know the engagement it's fully engaged you wouldn't want them just on the edge you'd want them fully engaged like I say that's probably a little tighter than it should be but uh, you know I, I could take them off right now and, and move them back but I, unless it's gonna make some noise or something I think I'm just gonna leave it just like that um, the crankshaft on the engine should have some play and I don't know if the pump did or not but that's how she's gonna ride get this guard back on Put the nice shiny bolt up top.
to play that game. Easy now. That's just plastic. Why doesn't that want to go back over there? There it goes. one of those serrated bolts and it's grabbing it and pushing it. Let me try to get the top. See if that'll help hold it. Oh, we're gonna do that, are we? That fan's just plastic. Fan guard. We got ourselves a hydraulic pump. I got it back running. I chipped a little bit of wood with it. Some of that is new right there. And uh, got it running for about, uh, I don't know, 15 minutes already. And uh, you know, got this drum thing going and everything. Let's see. I should see nothing but foam. Oh, we got actual liquid, folks. No bubbles at all. Nice. That was the fix. Okay, so a definitive win on that uh, pump replacement. Uh, going with the OEM treated me good this time. Everything fit. The shaft size was right. The fitting sizes were right. It bolted right up. I couldn't ask for more out of that. Uh, you know, most of these manufacturers uh, you know stop making stuff after a certain period of time so uh, we out in the field do appreciate this folks when you have the parts available even if you do cost us crazy stupid money um, at least you have it and it fits and it works so I can't fault them for that love it, love it when uh, parts actually fit so definitely uh, yeah suction side air leak probably at the pump shaft seal definitive fix if yours is doing the same, maybe have a look at it. I hereby declare that hydraulic pump Wildwood certified. Thanks for watching.